Hello, my Pisces family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly tarot reading for you, Pisces, for May 11th through the 17th. Thank you for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now, last week, I did a quick glance at your next six months. Just a peek to see the potential of what might be heading your way. So if you haven't viewed those videos, take a look. Okay, so just a reminder, these are general readings. For a personalized reading, click on my website link below. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating this week. Starting off with your first card, Pisces, your anchor card for the reading. You have the Two of Wands. Okay, Pisces. So the Two of Wands is showing up as your anchor card for this reading. And this card is indicating that you're right on the threshold of planning something or making a choice. Right now, you have the option and the power to choose. You have a creative force about you, Pisces. And at this time, you only have to choose what you want to do with the possible opportunity that is before you, before committing to a new direction. Now the Two of Wands card in general means everything's off to a good start. And this is actually a, a period of time of just waiting. This card is letting you know that you're not stuck with just one option and you don't need to do things the same old way is how things have always been done, Pisces. This brings in our new term of the new normal. You have the ability at this time, Pisces, to create an original vision for yourself. You have several options before you, so decide what path you wanna take and then set one foot in front of the other. You have the power within you, Pisces to create your own destiny. Now, as we look at the card here, we see the individual. Let's see if it'll kind of, there we go. We see this individual looking back as to where they have come from and possibly thinking about where to go forward. The number two energy of this card has to do with balance and harmony. It taps into your intuition, and it is the number of the sacral chakra, which has to do with change. This individual is taking this moment in time to contemplate and plan for his future. Both wands are firmly planted and indicate new growth starting. So Pisces, you have the opportunity at your feet right now to choose your own destiny. Taking a look at your next card, Pisces, you have the Nine of Swords. What is it that you're worried about, Pisces? Yes, this is often a card of worry, anxiety, insomnia. So some of you might be having thoughts that you just keep running over and over again. Maybe hoping for an answer to show up or possibly a different answer. But worrying can be pointless unless it does encourage you to do something about the situation. So if this card resonates with you, then start confronting your worries or fears and taking some steps to solve your problems. Maybe talk to someone about what's on your mind. Now, for some Pisces, this card can show up because you're possibly worried about your health. You're not feeling that great and you're concerned. So this card can indicate to start taking better care of your health. And for other Pisces, this card might show up as a what's the phrase, buyer's regret. But in this case, you possibly made some choices and decisions with your Two of Wands card. 
You might be overthinking your choices and wondering if you made the right choice or not. The Two of Wands card is a very fiery and creative energy. And if you made the choices, then the Nine of Swords is showing up because you're unsure if you made the right choices. You're second guessing yourself. So it's more of a self-imposed worry. Maybe the choices you made are out of your comfort zone. So the best thing you can do, Pisces, is to just relax and see how everything plays out. The number nine energy is one that doesn't last long because you're at the end. This is wrapping things up. So it just might be a little bit of the energy that's left over from possibly you just being unsure with the decisions you made with the Two of Wands. Now moving on to your next card, Pisces. You have the Ten of Cups. So if your worries were about the relationships around you here, stop worrying. The Ten of Cups is joy and harmony in all your personal relationships. It is joy and happiness and celebrating with your friends and family and all that you love. This is 10 cups bringing you a happy home, shared love. This is blessings, a joyous family. You have an excess of happiness to share with those around you. It's indicating your emotional connections and your home life are blessed. So take this time to be grateful for all the love and happiness that you do have in your life right now, Pisces. Now for some Pisces, if this card isn't resonating with you, then it could serve as a warning that your ideas about how relationships should be are kind of based on fairy tale endings. Wanting all your idealistic conditions to be met having that happily ever after. So what you should focus on right now is to be grateful for all the love and happiness that you do currently have in your life. Now, this is actually your card, Pisces. The Ten of Cups. The cups are all about feelings and emotions. It's about tapping into your intuition. It can be an indication of this kind of happiness coming in to your life. And as most of the Ten of Cups card have an arch represented on the cards, and we do have one here with the Ten Cups, the arch is your openings to new paths and represent the possibility of something new. But it is also telling you to be more realistic in regards to relationships. The number 10 energy of this card is the complete form of the suit's energy. And when we look at the Ace of Cups, that is a cup of overflowing abundance of joy and happiness. And here, this card has 10 of them. And as we reduce the number 10 down to number 1, this is bringing in new beginnings for you, Pisces. Now, your three-card spread adds up to 21, which reduces down to three. And three represents two things coming together to form something new. So once again, Pisces, your numerology here is even telling you this is new beginnings. Moving on to your next card, Pisces, this is your overall energy card for your entire reading. If I can get it here. And you have the Queen of Cups. This is your guiding energy this week for your reading. And the Queen of Cups is a very caring and nurturing type of energy, a very intuitive energy. And even though this isn't your card, Pisces, the Queen of Cups is very much in tune with her higher self and the divine. This energy is telling you to trust your intuition this week. Trust what you decide 
in regards to the two of wands. Don't worry. And the end result will have you feeling this wonderful Ten of Cups feeling. Now, this Queen of Cups could possibly be an actual individual helping you out this week. And if that's the case, this is actually Cancer's card. But this is a water sign energy. So for some of you, you will be tapping into the energy of the Queen of Cups as you go through this week. Now, I did ask your angels and guides, which crystal should you be aware of and carry this week? And you received Larimar. How interesting, Pisces. Your angels and guides have picked a water gemstone. This is the stone of Atlantis, and some call it the dolphin stone. But one thing for sure, Larimar is connected to the sky and to the water and the ocean. And I have mine here. This one called to me. I'm very big all about Atlantis. Now this is a very soft and nurturing water element crystal. And your angels and guides are wanting you to spend more time near the water, possibly visiting a river, a lake, or even the ocean. It will help you reconnect with the water element energy that you need right now. The Larimar crystal will give you a sense of inner peace and tranquility, and you'll feel the relaxing energy surrounding you. You can start imagining that all of your worries or concerns are being swept away with the water. This is telling you, Pisces, that the Nine of Swords card showing up in your reading means you're worrying for nothing. You are being encouraged, Pisces, to go with the flow. Relax and throw all of your expectations and the need for control out the door. Enjoy the freedom of flow and acceptance in your life at this time. So Pisces, make sure that you have your Larimar crystal this week, especially when making the decisions that might be brought forth with your Two of Wands card. You have the guiding energy of the Queen of Wands, excuse me, the Queen of Cups. So you will make the right decisions and your end result, the Ten of Cups. I leave you with the message of the cards, Pisces, but it is all within your own hands. You decide your own destiny, Pisces. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Pisces family.